Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Today's card I'm going to be making, we'll be using these dies from Textures by Lou Collins. Um, they were on an offer on Craft Stash, so I picked them up. I think they were 40% off or something like that, so um, always worth keep, keeping an eye out. So uh, the ones I'm going to use today are the Make Waves and the Whale which I've pulled out the dies already. So I've got the make waves and the whale. I'm also going to be using these dies. I don't know where they're from. I think they I got them at a, in a stack from a charity shop, but I can't remember. So, and I've got some cards. So what my plan is, is I'm going to have an open sort of card with this on the front like that so we are going to be limited to the size so I'm gonna have to have a card size which is four and five eighths and I will try and make it almost seven so it's gonna be almost five by an almost seven so it'll fit into a five by seven envelope i've got some colored card i'm going to do the front of the card in blue the back of the card in white the whale in grays and then i'll decide on what to do with the make waves coloring so initially I'm going to get some die cutting done and then uh, I'll have a look and see how this is going to work. Okay.
Okay, I'll let that dry. He's using the Kalau glue will make it stronger as well. Um, I'll just do the back of the card. So there's today's card. I will put a matte layer on the back in white to write the message on. Okay, because I had everything out, I thought I would um, do another card. So two for the price of one this time. What I've done already, I pulled out this circle frame, which is out of the out of this die set. And I pulled out a, a nesting circle that's just a little bit smaller. I pulled out this from here. So what I've gone ahead and done, because I had to do it on my Sizzix Big Shot Plus, and I can't get that on the desk, is I have cut a 7x7 seven seven card blank. And all I did was I... 
put the die on the card blank and I just had it hanging over slightly at the top. So the cutting edge was slightly over the top so that it keeps this, keeps it joined together. So I cut through the card. I also cut a blue layer and a white layer in the frame. I've cut two pieces of acetate in this circle that is slightly, slightly smaller than the frame for my acetate. And what I've gone ahead and done already is I have stuck the acetate on the back and a layer on top to hide the glue because I wanted to see how many layers I needed before I stopped cutting circles on my Big Shot Plus. So that's as far as I've got. I'm gonna stick this acetate piece here with the frame on top. And then I'm gonna cut a few layers of the whale. So I'm gonna have um, the two layers to make the whale and then I'm gonna have a white layer to put behind so that there's somewhere to write the message in the card, but it's gonna be see-through the whole way through. I'm gonna cut a piece of this in a sort of sandy color and see if I want to put that on there as well. So if I do, actually, I'm going to have to put that, or I'm going to want to put that in there. So I'm going to have to make the decision now as to whether I want that sandy layer in there, or I could just, I could put it up there a little bit. Yeah, no, it can wait, it can wait. So I'll get this stuck down first and get some other things cut and then I'll be back.
And so there's our two whale cards. One is half see-through and the other one is fully see-through. I'll probably put some Nouveau drops on that one as well. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again later. Okay, bye. Thank you.